Did you know that we can make a battery out of almost any pair of conductors if they are different and an electrolyte solution, which can be something as simple as water with salt. Here I have different conductors, zinc, copper, aluminium, a nail which is made of iron and carbon. Let's see what voltages we obtain when we put pairs of these materials in the electrolyte solution. obtain different voltages using different pairs of materials. Each conductor has its own potential when it is on the electrolyte and this is known as the standard electrode potential. It is a characteristic of the conductor. So when we have a large difference in electrode potential between two materials we obtain a large voltage from the battery and vice versa. The battery that I will make today is made of copper and aluminium and of course our solution of electrolyte which as I mentioned it is just water with salt, saturated solution of salt in water. So let's check again the voltage from the battery we need to be careful that the two electrodes do not touch each other in every battery we need a separator between the electrodes okay so we get half a volt from the battery but of course the voltage is not the only important parameter in a battery we need also an appreciable amount of current so let's check what is the short circuit current of the battery started at 3.3 milliamps and is decreasing fast as the battery discharges. Of course, making the measurement is almost a short circuit, so our battery discharges fast. 
However, 3.3 milliamps is a very low current for a battery. With 3.3 milliamps, we can only uh, light up an LED, and even in that case, we need several of these batteries in series in order to reach the voltage of 2, 2.5 volts that an LED needs to work. So we need to increase the current capacity of our battery. What do we need to do? Well, the current of a battery is a factor of many different things, but one of the most important is the area of the electrodes. The larger the area of aluminum and the copper, we have more room for the electrochemical reactions to take place and the current will increase. So let's find a way to increase the area of our electrodes. Okay, I have here two strips, one of copper tape, another strip of aluminum foil from the kitchen, and at the end I put some wire, copper wire, in order to make a connection in the battery electrodes and this is paper from paper towel also from the kitchen two strips of paper to make sure that there is no direct contact with aluminum and the copper tape now let's fold this in order to use less space but we still have a large area of both aluminum and copper I added some plastic tube to avoid contact between the terminals. Now we need to check that there is no continuity between the terminals because that will indicate an internal short of the battery. Okay, everything is fine. Now we need to submerge in our electrolyte. Okay, let's do the test of voltage and current. Let me connect the terminals of the multimeter. We have a somewhat smaller voltage than before, 0.45 volts. Now let's check the current. So we got a little more than 40 milliamps, much more than in the previous exercise. Now let's charge our battery. This battery can be recharged by, as any other rechargeable battery, connecting a voltage to the terminals of the battery. I will use my power supply with 2.5 volts charging voltage.
Let's measure again the voltage and the short circuit current. So as you could see, we obtain more than 100 milliamps once our battery is charged. Well, after playing a little with the battery and making several charge and discharge cycles, it has improved a lot. Now it is at 0 0.60 volts, I'm going to charge it. just a few seconds okay and now let's see the battery is at 1.26 volts and let me check the short circuit current It started at 800 milliamps. I am in the 10 amp setting. So, now the voltage 0 0.71 volts, but we have almost discharged the battery. So, I think it's all for today. I hope you find interesting this video. If that is the case, let me know in the comment section in order to make more videos on homemade batteries or not. Thanks for coming to my channel and see you in the next one.